In this video, we're going to take a look at the major features of the Docker Cloud Platform, the fastest and simplest way to get Docker into production in the cloud. Now, the first time that you log in to cloud.docker.com, you're going to hit the landing page here, which, if we read from left to right, outlines the major concepts. First up, we need to link to a cloud provider. Then, we need to create some nodes. Services sit on top of nodes, and then stacks are a collection of one or more services. Then, over here, we can see that repositories let us link into registries like Docker Hub and Docker Trusted Registry. So let's come over here and hit Link Cloud Providers. And I think it's worth pointing out, right? Docker Cloud doesn't do hosting. So all of the nodes, services, and stacks that you deploy through Docker Cloud are actually hosted externally by one of these cloud providers here. So I'm just going to hit this plug socket here to link to my Microsoft Azure account. Now, there's two steps to this process, right? First, I want to download the public certificate for my Docker Cloud account. And then, next, I need to actually go over to Azure here, and I'm using the classic portal. So down here under Settings, then Management Certificates up here. And we want to upload that one that I just downloaded. This normally only takes a second or two. Okay. Then we want this subscription ID up here. And we'll paste it in over here. Then save. And look here, our Docker Cloud account is now linked to our Microsoft Azure account. Meaning, we can now use Docker Cloud to start orchestrating Dockerized applications running on Azure infrastructure. So if we come back up to the home page here, and let's look at nodes. Now, Docker Cloud works with the notion of node clusters. So, one or more nodes with the same labels and from the same provider here. I think we'll call this one WebFE. And let's say it's going to be in London. And we're going to use it for blue builds. You know what? We'll go with AWS this time. Remember, Docker Cloud works with plenty of cloud service providers. Now, if you happen to know your AWS, this is all just the standard stuff required to launch a new instance. Then, we can use this nifty little slider down here to select how many nodes we want to go into the node cluster. Once we're happy, we just hit the launch button here, and it will go away and spin up however many nodes we asked for. And as part of that, it's going to install the Docker engine and the Docker Cloud agent. So, while nodes are about Docker hosts, services are about containers, and I think it's worth thinking about this as layers. So, we've got nodes in the node cluster at the bottom. Then, the next layer up is services. Remember, that's effectively containers. Then, the layer above that is the stack. Now, I'm not going to show you the stacks pages right now, but we will see it in a later video. The thing is, the stack is effectively our application, which, if we work our way back down the stack, is comprised of one or more services, which, in turn, can be deployed over one or more nodes in the node cluster, or even across multiple node clusters if that's what we need. Well, the final thing is repositories over here. Docker Cloud links to existing registries like Docker Hub and other supported registries just to provide access to repositories. And we can create new ones here and import new ones from third-party registries here. Now, I know we just skimmed through the very basics here, well, there's two more videos to come where we'll look at deploying a stack and then how to facilitate blue-green deployments. So yeah, that's a really quick intro to Docker Cloud, the fastest and the simplest way to get Docker into production in the cloud. Be sure to watch the next two videos though to find out more.